Today, I want to share with you a simple strategy we have discovered to help you get into any medical school very quickly. Now, before I get into this, I want to introduce myself. My name is Beruz Momeni. I'm the CEO and founder here at Bimo. I'm joined with Genia, who is our content manager. And let's talk about how do we get into medical school super fast? How do we, you know, prepare for the MCAT super fast? How do we ace the Casper test super fast? How do we finish our undergraduate degree really fast? Genia, you want to tell us how we could get into medical school extremely fast? I think uh, my answer might uh, disappoint some of our viewers, but I think the key here is not to focus on the fast part of that sentence. I understand that uh, you know, it's it's really important to try and be efficient with your education and with everything really you do. But becoming a doctor is not a fast track career. Uh, it is a very, very long process starting sometimes in high school. So um, focusing on the quickness uh, of uh, becoming a doctor is really not the right approach from the beginning. That's how I would uh, put it. 100% agree. You know, this is one of those things that I don't want you to be a doctor who's become a doctor within a day. I would personally will not allow you to touch me or examine me or anyone I know for that matter, even my worst enemies, if you've become a doctor fast. You got to get it. There's two ways to do things, right? Fast or right. Normally, it's very hard to, to get both. Uh, unless you have the acumen that's been accumulated over time. Yes, a doctor who's already had 40 years of experience can diagnose fast, but the journey to get to that stage was not fast. It was 40 years of repetition, of getting feedback, of making mistakes, and hopefully, you know, mistakes that were not critical or mistakes that happened outside of training. But becoming a doctor, becoming a responsible person for other people's lives fast, it just blows my mind when somebody has that mentality. As a pre-med, that should not be your mentality because that means you're chasing a dream that is not probably yours. You're chasing a dream that you don't truly care about. You're chasing a dream that is mostly influenced by social pressure, your parents, your peers, or whatever that is. Because if you understand the process and you're enjoying the process, what's the rush? Where are you trying to go? Like, okay, so you become a doctor, then what? Let's say tomorrow I told you I have a magic potion to turn you into a doctor. You take this red pill, don't take the blue pill, take the red pill, and you're gonna turn into a doctor tomorrow. Okay, then what are you gonna do? Then you're gonna be like, uh, I wanna get to this next thing fast. I wanna buy a yacht fast. Ah, so you just wanna get rich. Well, is that a problem being a doctor, being rich? Not necessarily, but if that is the only reason, it's just, it's just not the right, it's just not the right way uh, to do this because there's many, many other ways first of all to get rich faster by the way none of those are also fast unless you're gonna run a scam which is gonna eventually blow up in your in your face and it's gonna go backwards uh bottom line i think you should be focusing on doing things right so that you only have to do it once because when you do these things fast you normally do it wrong and it actually slows you down in the long term. I think that's all I had to add here. Any final thoughts, Genia? I think, uh, you know, so the trick that, you know, we're talking about is, yeah, not focusing on the, you know, on the speed, focusing on the process, uh, understanding the value of the training and why it's necessary. There are many other little tricks you can use to speed up that process, like enroll in a three-year medical school program instead of four. So, you know, you shave off a year. There are some programs like that, but there's no way of making it fast. It's just the truth. 
you know what? If you really, really, really want the fast way, you know, I'm actually going to give you a fast way to get into medical school, a really fast way to ace the MCAT, a really fast way to ace the Casper. But I'm not sure you're up for it. So here's the way to do it. You want to do things faster, sleep less, work harder, work more hours per day. Don't take breaks on the weekends. Don't go clubbing on the weekends. Don't mess around on social media. Don't do that kind of stuff. If normally people study five hours a day, you study 16 hours a day. Do it every day. If you do that, yes, you will get faster. The point is, hey, you still are not necessarily getting faster. You have to pay your dues in the number of hours required to get to that next stage, to that skill level. The, the point is, are you going to take your time and you know spend time clubbing every day? Or are you the type that is willing to say no to everything else for between five to 10 years and compress the time required, not really by compressing the time, by rather using more hours per day, every day, holidays, weekends, etc. That's how you do it fast. So there's really no fast. Yes, there is a way to shrink the time in the, in the calendar term but not the hours you need to put in. You choose, are you willing to put in two hours, five hours? Are you putting, willing to put in 16 hours? That's the formula, there is no other way. So, so I did have actually a trick to give you. So that was my trick. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you a little bit of a different perspective. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, share it with a friend who may enjoy this as well. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section and we hope to talk to you soon.